King Charles's coronation will allegedly be a star-studded affair. According to Life and Style, King Charles would be inviting other kings and queens from different countries, international figureheads and even celebrities like Tom Cruise to his May the 6th coronation. A source claims that King Charles' coronation will be a mix of new and old traditions with plenty of flair and some have to do with a wardrobe. Charles is clashing with his aides over his outfit because he wants to ditch more outdated elements like stockings and riding style pants. Camilla also refuses to wear anything too stuffy. She'd rather be in Dior or UK designer Fiona Clark, the source said. King Charles' coronation will also allegedly feature several performances by artists. Charles is having a big say in performers. It's going to be a variety of genres represented. Diana Ross, Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Sting, Rod Stewart and Barbara Streisand are all on Charles' wish list, the source says. Of course, there is also some ongoing talk regarding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's possible attendance. The general palace consensus is that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should be banned. No one wants them ruining Charles' moment, after all, the spare drama. The coronation is fast approaching, so who's in and who's out will come to light very soon, the source said. Daily Express reports that Prince Harry may appear alone at King Charles' coronation. One of the working theories reportedly devised to include the Sussexes at the sacred event has been dubbed Harry in a hurry. According to this plan, Harry would attend the event by flying in and out of Britain within 48 hours on coronation weekend. This theory would see Harry joining thousands more guests at Westminster Abbey for the first coronation in seven decades, while Meghan remained at home with two children. But this working theory published by the Mail on Sunday implies the Duke's missing the fourth birthday of his son celebrated the same day as the coronation. According to Secondhand Coke on Reddit, Meghan is not invited and will not be attending the coronation. She said, Remember the reconciliation meetings with the royal family that were rumoured? That was Sussex spin on the fact that Charles has called for an audience with Harry. It's not, though, as they'd like us to think, some kind of reconciliation and apology. Meghan will not be invited. If she comes, she won't be given audience. The children will always be given an audience, but she'll never be given the honour of another personal audience with the king ever again in her entire life. Anyway, Charles summoned Harry to talk about whether or not Harry would have a role in the coronation, and the fact that obviously his ceremonial role to swear fealty to the crown has been undermined by the book, the Netflix show, the book tour interviews, etc etc. I heard from my source in Los Angeles, because Meghan is a fucking sieve and keeps nothing private, that the king has said that the royal family will not be apologising for anything, not now, not ever, and certainly not publicly. On the contrary, Harry would have to publicly apologise and recant the litany of irrefutable lies to play the small ducal role played by the peerage in the coronation ceremony. Charles has refused to apologise for anything. On the contrary, he's demanded that Harry publicly recant and apologise. He isn't even asking for Meghan to, because she won't, and even if she did, she'd never have access to the family again anyway. This is the provocation for Meghan's latest tell-all, Unforgiven. It's a documentary short telling Meghan's story, again. Probably a new one.